Hey now, welcome back to the guide. First things first, let us endorse this mod that we couldn't uh, previously. Okay, that done, let's move on. NPCs and behavior, let's create that separator. So I'm gonna copy that. Click on the three dots in mod organizer, create separator and paste. Okay, bring out your dead. This mod is a simple yet immersive mod which expands on the number of graves given to the unique NPCs in areas of the game that don't currently have them. Sounds good. Files. Download. And it's by our a very eccentric but very good friend, Arthmore. Okay, let's install it. And we do not want to extract that BSA. Next, Diverse Skyrim SSE. This mod adds more diversity to the different factions within Skyrim. I cannot speak. Download. Files. Mod Manager Download. Let's install it. Okay. Nope. Do not unpack the BSA. Activate. Immersive Citizens AI Overhaul. This mod's main objective is to greatly improve the artificial intelligence of friendly NPCs in order to make them act and react like true humans in relation to an aggressor. And yeah, we get the gist. Let's download it. Files. Mod Manager Download. Another talented yet very eccentric uh, mod author. Let's install this. Let's look at the full mod and let's expand this. Okay, we got the core. We don't want this patch here for enhanced lights and effects. We don't want anything. Enhanced lighting for E and B. We do want that selected. Touring carriages. We don't want that selected. Install. And uh, don't unpack that BSA. And let's activate it. So we can, uh, yeah, we're going to flag the Immersive Citizens ELL patch ESP as an ESL. So activate it, go to your dropdown, click on SSC edit, then run. Right click, select none, go all the way down, select the Immersive Citizens ELE patch and OK. And then we don't want any mod groups, it's just OK. Let's open this up, click on file header, right click on record flags, go into edit, wait for the countdown, click yes, and then tick the box next to ESL and OK. Then we can exit out, make sure this is checked, and then hit OK. All right, that's done. Immersive patrols adds fully functional scheduled patrols of almost every major faction across all DLCs. All right, let's download it. And we want the SE version second one, wait a minute. I better double check. Yeah, the second one. We're not on a diet. We don't need the light one. Let's install it. Okay. And don't unpack that BSA. Activate that mod. Guard dialogue overhaul. More dialogue, more realism, more respect. This mod alters the guard dialogue, changing it from something that breaks your immersion in the world of Skyrim to something that actually increases it. That sounds excellent. So files, and we want the first one, the main file. And let's install the main file. Okay. Don't unpack that BSA. Activate the mod, and then move on to relationship dialogue overhaul, RDO. This mod adds over 5,000 lines of completely voice dialogue for NPCs to use, spanning more than 50 voice types. Great. So we want the main file, and we, and we want the optional uh, CRF USEP patches final. So let's download it. So files, download the main file. Then we want the CRF and USEP patches file. And we're gonna install this as two separate mods. So first the main file, relationship dialog overall. Okay. Don't unpack that BSA. And then the patch, double click that. Click on the drop down, and choose CRF USEP patches final. Good, okay. And let's activate it. Clean this up. Alright. And there's an additional uh, instructions here. Delete the following. Delete the USEP patch. So right click, open an explorer, and we're going to uh, delete this right here. RDO USEP patch. Delete. Good. Now it's in the RDO CRF USEP patches final folder. And then there's a manual SSE edit required, and we're going to flag the CRF USEP patch 
as an ESL. So let's go back into SSE Edit. Run. Right click, select none, go all the way down, click on RDO, CRF, use of patch, and OK. And we don't want any mod groups. And I don't think we ever need any mod groups. So just click OK. All right, let's expand this. Click, click on File Header, right click on Record Flags, click on Edit, Countdown. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Tick the box, ESL. OK, close it. Make sure this is uh, checked, and then OK. Next up, Serana Dialog Edit. This mod overhauls the dialog for Serana. This includes bug fixes, custom dialog branches, more radiant dialog, and expansion to Hearthfire and Dragonborn. Version 102. Files. Mod Manager download. Download. And let's install it. Okay. And we don't want to unpack that to BSA. And now the infamous Sarana dialogue add-on. An expansion to Sarana's dialogue in order to make her feel more organic as an interactive character with the player and the world. This includes more conversations with the player, quest awareness, radiant dialogue, and much more. So we got a main file and several optional files, and we're gonna install all of these as separate mods. So let's do it. So files, so we want the main file. And then let's see which optionals we want. We want SDA, Less Mord, Armor Patch, Nether's Faller frame, Framework Patch, Relationship Dialog Overhaul Patch, and Serana Dialog Edit Patch. So, okay, we want Campfire Snuggle Patch. Interesting. Go down, here's the Less Mord Armor Patch. Download that one. We want Followers, uh, Nether's Faller Framework Patch. Download that one. Dialog overhaul patch, relationship dialog that is. Download that. And I believe, yes, Serana dialog edit patch. This patch edits out some of the dialogue Serana dialog edit adds as to not thematic conflict. Good. And download that. And let's install them as separate mods. Okay, Serana dialog add on, the main file first. Okay. That's a lot of unpacking. Okay, good. Now we're going to do the Lust Mord armor patch. Click on the drop down, click on Lust Mord Armor Patch, and OK. Nether's Followers, drop down, Nether's Follower Framework, OK. Relationship Dialog Overhaul, drop down, Relationship Dialog Overhaul, OK. Serana Dialog Edit, drop down, Serana Dialog Edit, OK. Excellent. Activate all of them. All right. Sky Test, Realistic Animals and Predators. Sky Test, Realistic Animals and Predators gives new AI, artificial intelligence that is, to animals and predators. We want the no SM, no survival mode. Download. Files. No survival mode, first option. And we don't want to install Sky Test, Realistic Animals and Predators.esp. So double click here. Click on manual, then unselect the ESP. Okay. And do not extract that BSA. Activate. Next up, SkyTest Integration Project SC. SkyTest, a collection of patches for realistic animals and predators. And there's three main files that we want. Immersive creatures, no extra spawns, vanilla, and DLC creature extensions. So we want immersive creatures. No extra spawns. And vanilla and DLC creature extension. And let's install them as separate mods. So first up, immersive creatures. Drop down, immersive creatures, okay. No extra spawns, drop down. No extra spawns, okay. Vanilla and DLC cre creation extensions. Drop down, vanilla and DLC, okay. Let's activate that. Let's clean out that. Okay, next up, Critters Ain't Snitches. This mod attempts to fix animals and monsters reporting your crimes to local human authorities. There's a main file and an optional file for Sky Test. Download. So let's get the uh, main file. And then the Sky Test RANP patch. All right, and let's install them as separate mods. So first the main file. Okay, and then optional. Click on drop down, 
Sky test. Okay. Activate them. And now, True Hunter. Less animals per square meter. This mod reduces the number of leveled animals with customizable spawn chances. No more predators at every turn. I want the main file. There's only one file. Download. Hey, bear. What's going on, bear? Let's open up the full mod. Good. Let's install it. So click MCM and install. Activate. Sky Test Lest Fear SSC Patch. This mod reduces the fear induced by Sky Test, so animals shouldn't run halfway across the world map. We want a miscellaneous Sky Test Lest Fear SSC Patch. And this is one of Dark Lady Lexi's specialty patches, so download it. Files. Go to miscellaneous. And there it is. Sky Test Lest Fear SSC Patch. Click on there. Click on Mod Manager Download, and it downloads. Double click it and let's make sure it's named properly. Sky Test Less Fear SSC Patch. Okay. And let's activate it. Good. Omega Lexi, Lexi of the Dragonborn, Animals Merged Consistency Patch. Another patch by our Dark Lady Lexi. It's going to be in the miscellaneous section. Download. Files. Scroll down to miscellaneous. Where are you? There it is, Mega Lexi Lexi of Dragon Animals Merge Consistency Patch. Download. Let's install it. Make sure it's named properly. Animals Merge Consistency Patch. And there we go. Activate. Then protect your people, PYP. Better NPC Protection SE. This mod automatically flags all unique NPCs as protected so they can be only killed by the player. And we're going to download the main file and CRF Merged. That's the second option here in the main files. And let's install it. Activate it. Let's clean all this out. And we're going to continue on the next section. New followers and NPCs. So let's create that separator. Copy that. Click under three dots. Create the separator. Paste it in there. Click OK. And then we're going to go to Immersive College NPCs. Add students and guards to the College of Winterhold for added immersion. So let's do it. And let's install it. Expand this, expand this, and let's do it. So that's already chosen. We don't want the second option. For face gens, we want standard face gens. And then we're going to click on install. And we are not going to extract that PSA. Activate. Inigo. Inigo is a fully based Khajiit adventuring companion with thousands of lines of unique dialogue. How cool is that? And there's a problem that we gotta fix, no problem. Download. Files. There we go. So, after he's installed, we're gonna fix that problem. And uh, we're not gonna extract that BSA, no. Okay. Let's activate Indigo. And Indigo.esp contains 34 identical master records that we have to clean with using SSC Edit Auto uh, Quick Auto Clean. Okay. So go to the drop down here, click on SSC Edit Quick Auto Clean, and run. From here, go all the way down to Indigo, select Indigo, and hit OK. And now it's cleaning. All right, now that in you go is nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and exit out. So easy, so, so easy. Interesting NPCs SSE. Interesting NPCs is a project to add color and life to Skyrim through three-dimensional characters. Each NPC is integrated into the world with a backstory and an extensive dollar tree to explore. All right, great. So we're going to download the loose file version, and we're going to install the hotfix, and we're going to uh, remove some uh, scripts. So let's download it files so we want the loose version download that and uh these are pretty big downloads over two gigs so it might take a bit and we also want the hotfix all right once that's finally downloaded let's install it interesting npcs okay yeah that's a big file to unpack give your cpu a workout 
guess the latest word on the streets is that for gaming PCs, uh, you don't really need more than uh, six cores, 12 thread processors, but that's for current games and past games, but future games looks like um, the more cores, the better. So I know f personally, uh, when I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077, that it's using, um, uh, well, it goes back and forth, but there are times where it's utilizing all 12 cores of my processor. Yeah, it's on my stream deck. I have uh, like a little monitoring thing going on. I don't know. I'm always curious to see what kind of load my hardware is going under. And yeah, there are times where I see all 12 cores boosting up to almost 5 gigahertz. Um, I have a AMD Ryzen 9 5900X processor if you're curious. Yeah, so I'm looking at the little monitoring thing I told you about that's on my stream deck. And uh, Mod Organizer 2 looks like it's only using 4 cores. Hmm, that's disappointing. Oh well, Mod Organizer 2 came out when? How many years ago? And back then, the, uh, the vast majority of processors was uh, four cores, eight thread. So, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. All right, finally. <laughs> now let's merge that hotfix into the main file of interesting NPCs, huh? Okay, merge. And before we activate it, we're gonna delete these scripts. So right click on interesting NPCs, open an explorer. We're gonna click on scripts. Then we're gonna delete animal. 3D NPC. So we're looking for animal. 3D NPC. Delete it. Next up, follower I NPC. So scroll down to follower. Or you can just type it here. Let's do that. Follower. Enter. Oh, there's several different ones in there. Okay. So follower. Eh, it's right here. Follower I NPC. PEX. So let's delete that. And now, for simplicity, I'm just going to copy this over here. Copy, click up here, paste, and then enter. And we'll delete that. F5 to show it's cleared. Good. All right, let's get out of here. Boom. All right, that is interesting NPCs. And I see I have something in my cache folder, overwrite folder probably. Yes, something is in my overwrite. And it's probably cache. I didn't want to go there. I want to go into the override folder. Okay, open explore. And there's SSE edit cache here. So let's cut that, close that, go back up here, right click on SSE edit cache, open and explore and paste. And then let's refresh here. Click on the three dots, refresh, and that notification's cleared. Okay, interesting NPC, 3D NPC character Zora Fairchild's voice boosted. This mod normalizes the dialogue volume for Zora. Cool. And let's install it. Okay. Uh, let's activate it. And now, Kuyima, interesting NPC. This mod overhauls the appearance of some of uh, the NPCs from interesting NPCs. And there's a main file and an optional file, salt and wind patch. So let's install the main file. I'm pretty sure we want the vanilla hair. No, we want the custom hair. Custom hair. Download. And we want the salt and wind patch. Let's download that. And we're going to install these as two separate mods. So let's install the main file first. And then let's install the patch. Make sure it's named properly. Salt and wind patch. Okay. Let's activate those. And now, interesting NPC visual overhaul. This mod overhauls appearance of the women from interesting NPCs. Let's install that. Yeah, looking good. I like it. Let's install it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Have I installed this before? Let's see if I can endorse it. And I can. Good. Lucian, fully voiced follower. Lucian is a fully voiced imperial follower with over 1,600 lines of animation. Our lines of immersive, lore friendly dialogue. All right, great. So it may fall in two patches. So moon and star and moon path to elsewhere. Download. Files. So the main file. And then the two patches. Where are you? 
Moon and Star. And Moon Path Elsewhere. And you guessed it. We are going to install these as three separate mods. So first a main file. We are not going to unpack that BSA. Moon and Star. Drop down. Moon and Star. Click no. We don't want to unpack that BSA. Then Moon Path to Elsewhere. Same thing. Drop down to Moon Path to Elsewhere. Okay. And don't extract that BSA. Activate them. Clean up this mess. Then Brisi tells her trouble. Brisi is a unique Khajiit follower with pretty cool quest line. I actually like that quest line a lot. And it's one of my favorite followers. So Sophia and Marisi are always included in my playthroughs. Download. File. Main file. Okay. And when we install it, we are not going to... Or we're going to delete the ESP that comes with it. So let's open this up. And let's open up the full mod. And if you have trouble seeing this, right click it and go on view image, but I can make it out. So let me open this up. Okay, so main file, voice actress. Sini Nensusi. For me, that is the voice of Marisi. No, nothing against the Laura Healer, but I love this voice actress here. Body type, we want UMP. Great, I gotta do some more censoring. Next, UMP options. Body texture, we want the main. For underwear, we want no underwear. For next, okay, face texture variant, we want the main version. Next, okay, for face model variants, we want to keep the main file, or the main version, I guess. Under eyes, you want gold. Go to next. Do you need a patch? No, we don't. And then we're going to install it. And uh, do not unpack that VSA. So right click on Marisi, open an explorer, click on DSP, and delete that ESP. Very good. And now we're going to install Marisi Tells of Trouble Delayed Start. This mod delays the start of Marisi Tells of Trouble, and we want the level 30 version. Click on Files, level 30. Boom. Download it. Install it. All right, well done, ladies and gentlemen. You have finished yet another one of my videos. In the next video, we are going into vanilla item retextures and tweaks. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.